Hello everyone, Sanish here um, with a Blackhearts Bay video. We're going to do again be doing Sergeant Hammer. Um, after that last video, I uh, thought she did well. Now I'm going to show kind of how she can play out on the uh, Blackhearts Bay map, which is a little bit different because she doesn't uh, need to push the base nearly Choose as much given that you have this giant pirate ship in the middle which will shoot your opponent repeatedly, like viciously, if you give him enough coins. The downside to that is he will also shoot you repeatedly and viciously if they give him enough coins. So he's kind of a mercenary, which, you know, I can appreciate that. He's a bit annoying that way, but I might actually go with Bribe on this map because uh, the mercenaries can do a lot of damage very quickly and bribe allows you to get a mercenary Battle camp in uh, instantly once seconds. you have 40 kills on uh, Five, four, need one three, bottom once you have 40 million one. 40 million kills let the battle begin so I hope somebody heads bottom we're trying to capture this uh, watchtower quickly but after that, someone really needs to get down to the bottom. So it looks like it's three on three for them right now. I'm going to swing around, try and catch Zeratul or Illidan off guard. Activate my boost. And then get out of there before I get shot. Lay down some mines. And the, our opponent's actually going to have... Well, they were going to have an advantage, but since we drew first blood, we got a huge advantage on that. We need someone to go bottom because we're falling behind in experience because uh, we're not getting any of the creep experience from the bottom lane. So their Sonya will actually have taken that uh, bottom lane completely, and I think she's gonna get a turn in. Their barb is uncontested on bottom. Yep, see, that's what I was afraid of. Actually, they're. Oh, Demon Hunter is doing a beautiful job there. So, oh, looks like we lost the watchtower, but that's okay. I'm going to try and control this lane as best as I can. And let my team do a lot of the heavy lifting. Maybe I'll drop down into the middle and help them out with a gank. Uh, there's not much I can really do. You can kind of use uh, Sergeant Hammer on... It's kind of surprising what she can do. Because she has the boost, which gives her an immediate in-combat increase. Which most heroes don't have because they mount and it's a permanent movement speed bonus until they get attacked. I'm going to increase my basic attack range. I'm going to pick off Illidan here a couple of times. Just poke at him, trying to get him lower so that if he ever does jump at me, uh, he's not as much of a problem. See, like that. And I'm going to blast them both back. Oh, no, no. Okay, come on, come on, come back. Oh, this is going to be really close to getting through. Oh, yes. Goodbye, Illidan. So that's why you don't want to be too aggressive on this map, because these towers will kill you very quickly. Um, we are just barely ahead on experience. I'd prefer to be more like a level 7 to a level 5. But once again, we just do not have anybody going to that bottom lane for our experience. And we let our enemies turn in six coins. Ready to drop the hammer. I am handling two of them up here to their one, so that's going to help a little bit. But because we don't have anybody, someone in every lane, we're starting to fall behind on experience. Music to my ears. And I actually can't push back ETC because he has too much health. So they are farming the minion camps to try and get experience. They farmed the one on our side first, 
which is actually a really good idea to try and get your opponent's side first. That way you cut off uh, part of their support and what they might be counting on to try and catch back up. So those chests are out. Choose a talent. We lost some, uh, we actually lost that last turn in. I'm gonna create a wall. I haven't used this talent before. Oh, this could be a problem. I'm gonna set up a huge minefield up here just because they've got they've got the knights coming in, which this early, those knights are extremely powerful. I'm gonna try and blast them back long enough for me to get some more mines An down. And then I'm gonna hide behind the wall. And I am going to start just bombarding them as heavily as possible. And our minion wave actually came out just in time, so I did the minimum amount, or I, we actually took the minimum amount of damage possible from that, which is great. Come on. Need to move up just a little bit further. The only problem is our enemies just got that turn in. So their whole team is not up here. I'm going to skirt this vision. And try and push their front towers. Ooh, this is not going very well for us. Yep, Illidan's back. He's gonna try. He's gonna come right for me. Sorry, hammer bad on this map. Yeah, this is like I said. This is not a very great map for Sergeant Hammer. I'm actually gonna try and catch up to Zeratul here. He better blink out of my way. You can see him shimmer on the map. So where he is is not really that big of a surprise. He looks like he got the speed buff. Zeratul's there. Come on, guys. Music to my ears. Oh, this is a really bad location for us to be in. I really hope our Zeratul decide or our Illidan decides to do the same thing. We might get the triple kill out of this. Yep, so they actually had an ultimate advantage there very briefly. But that ended up being incredibly good for us just because we ended up winning that fight and stealing all their coins. So we ended up getting a turn in. And we're back to normal, or we're back to even on the coin differential. So we're both at 0 12. <laughs> so I probably should have been helping my team a little more. Uh, I'm gonna go take the night camp here with my bribe just because it's so... they're very powerful and it's very far forward. I'm gonna try and cut behind their wave. But I'm not actually going to use my bribe here. I can save it. For a little bit later. Yep, see, Abathur's saying to save it. So I'm going to drop back and I'm going to take... Has destroyed a fort. Taking giants with bribe. So it looks like they have three or four up top. Which is not great news for us, because we only have Malfurion up there. So I'm going to take up. Need help. King. He's all up there by himself. I think with four on him. Alright, he says he's out of there. That's good. I'm going to go in to the middle and turn some in. Between myself and King Dope here, we've got six coins, which brings us up to ten, so we only need two more. 
Unfortunately, I don't see two on the map at the moment. Um, yeah, we're going to increase my attack range again this time. Music to my ears. Yeah, they wisely decided to get out of there once they saw how fortified we were. We got two coins here that somebody needs to pick up. They're the last two we need to turn in. Zeratul's behind us. We actually need a lot of help here. Sonya has 10. Just bail. Yep, they're going to get a full turn in and they're going to steal all of our coins. They... Crashed as a full team. They crashed as a full team. We only had two defending. Yep. So that's not going to do too well for us. Zeratul was sneaking around, which was kind of annoying that we weren't able to get him. So we're behind a full level, which on this map is really hard to catch up on. I'm not going to try and go around and get Zeratul. Looks like they actually did get Zeratul. Going to use a bit of stutter step action here, which is kind of weird to do as a tank. Yep, let's go for the big golem. So he's taking that down to get us some coins. We need another turn in quick. It's boom time. Especially because I think that they're trying to come in on us. Anybody? Anybody? Golem anyone? Alright, I guess we'll just straight up attack this front. So if they don't come defend this, we're actually pushing quite well. They got another turn in, which is not good news for us. So now we're falling quite far behind on the turn ins. Looks like nobody at my team wants to come, although we will get Illidan. Nope, there I didn't manage to get his uh, attack off. And ETC has us stuck in his mosh pit, which stuns all of us. Unfortunately, it doesn't stun him. You have been slain. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. So we're actually going to have a four, yep, four kill there. So the problem with the mosh pit is it stuns everyone around us, but doesn't actually... <laughs> oh man. So he's not he's yet to win a game with... Uh, I think he's trying to say he's yet to get a, win a game with Abathur. Not sure if the hero blows or what. So I think he's talking about Abathur. An ally has been slain. Yeah, it's very difficult to win team fights without five heroes. Especially with ETC. Because he has that uh, area stun, which does a ton of damage. Indirectly, I should say, because it stuns us, but or it, but it doesn't make us invulnerable. It's boom time. The enemy has destroyed a key. Yep. So it looks like there's a bit of infighting going on on my team, but that's okay. It's just a game, guys. The enemy has destroyed a key. Choose a talent. Um. 
Yeah, we're gonna go spawn more mines. Just to increase the amount. That just to increase the amount of damage that we do. We're two turn-ins behind, which I don't think we can really recover from. Because they pushed all the way into our palace. And we're four levels behind at this point, which means two turn-ins and four levels, this game is basically over. It would take a monumental uh, blunder by them for us to recover. Because they have their uh, talents that upgrade their... See, his Napalm outranges mine by quite a bit. Because he has the level 20 talent for it, then increases the range, whereas we're level 16. So it's essentially like getting a new ultimate, which makes it extremely difficult. That's the mosh pit I'm talking about right there, which makes it really hard uh, for people to... Makes it really hard for us to fight. Zeratul is trying to get some action here. Well, we need to back up. We need to be smart about the kills. They're such they're so far ahead in levels that we can't rush into even fights anymore. We need to fight them. We need to outnumber them. Might be saying we got some heavy tunnel vision going on. Can't fight them straight up. Yep. That's exactly what was going on. Our team is starting to chase people when they have three opponents. Uh, that's exactly what he's saying. Is we cannot chase them like that when there's four heroes there. Which unfortunately tends to happen a lot in this game because people forget that unlike most MOBAs, uh, this game has map objectives which are much more important. As you can see the other team is about to get another turn in which should finish us. We don't have anything left aside from this one tower here uh, for it to shoot. So that turn in should come very close to finishing us. Especially if Sergeant Hammer decides to come down here. So I'm trying to help defend this palace, and no one on our team is coming back to help out. That's going to be the game right there. He has eight more shots, and their whole team is up here. No beef. So, anyway, I'm still trying to figure out how to use Sergeant Hammer on this map. I've kind of figured out how to use her on the other two, but this one, it's not working too much. Uh, Abiento, 